Residents had to be evacuated from their homes and kids were taken out of class this morning after a gas leak was discovered in Greenville. Our Ho Jung Ru was there this morning as crews worked to contain that leak. She joins us now. Ho Jung, what did officials tell you? Lauren, when I got here earlier this morning, teachers and kids were filing out nervous and panicked, but in an organized manner. I was told that the teachers tried their best to remain calm so that they wouldn't overwhelm the kids by this emergency evacuation. About 250 staff and students at Sadie Salter Preschool evacuated this morning due to a gas leak. Greenville Fire and Rescue Chief Anderson says the gas leak was from the construction that has been going on in the area. Some schools in the community, such as J.H. Rose, provided safe spaces for students to evacuate during this emergency. Although all staff and students were safely evacuated in a timely manner, many parents were still very concerned with the call they received this morning. This was an extremely scary ordeal. Um, I was at home preparing for work when I noticed a missed call on my phone and a text message from staff saying that it's an emergency. And, and so I tried to reach out and call and call and call, no answer. And so I immediately rushed over here. The gas leak was contained by Greenville Utilities. After the emergency was cleared, the superintendent said the day will proceed as a normal school day. The following school day will also not be affected by this gas leak. Chief Anderson says that there would be residual odor smelled throughout the area, but there is no danger. The Greenville Fire and Rescue will continue to monitor the situation throughout the day. Reporting live in Greenville, Ho Jung Ru, WITN News. All right, thank you, Ho Jung.